All right, Canvas Keys. The song we're going to look at in this tutorial is Another in the Fire. We're going to do it in the key of C. So be sure to, sure to check out the links below. Um, we have a link to our Planning Center files. Uh, every key that we do it in with all the chord charts that correspond with that. And then also um, a link to this chord chart in particular in the key of C in our confidence monitor format. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, so let's dive right in, take a look at how the Nord is set up and talk about um, how we do another in the fire. All right, so um, on the Nord, uh, we have just kind of a, a basic organ setup. So when you pull up another in the fire, um, you'll want to make sure that panel B is illuminated. By, by illuminating, I mean that's the one that's blinking. Uh, the reason why we want that is we want to have access to the organ features um, and there's two layers in each panel so if it's not blinking all you have to do to make it blink is hit B and then it's blinking. <laughs> so you'll want to make sure that B is blinking in another in the fire but it, it is defaulted to blink there unless somebody messed it up or something. But let me just explain there's no splits on the keyboard on this one it's just um, with the it's an organ that increases in intensity but the intensity um, changes with the mod wheel actually in reverse, and I'll explain the reason for that in a, in a middle in a minute. But if I'm playing a C, it starts out actually with a string patch, and then it transitions into a stronger and stronger organ patch. Um, so something to uh, consider in that is that. It's in, a little bit in reverse. I'll explain why in a second. But let me just ex explain one more thing. Um, and that's the the rotary speaker or Leslie fe feature on the Nord that we're going to want to use later in the song when it comes into the bridge where it's an I can see the light. So when it comes with that really strong, powerful part, we're going to add something to the dynamic because we're already like here. What we're going to do is we're going to turn on just by hitting this gray button once right here in the rotary section we're going to turn on the rotary speaker back to that real more subdued organ sound when it comes out of that bridge and out of that chorus into a breakdown and in fact I'll also even roll back the mod wheel a bit for that part so um, that's how the keyboard's set up now let me explain why the mod wheel is in reverse so why would it why wouldn't it increase in intensity in the upward fashion well it has to do with that organ sound it would sound awful um, I'm going to just show you. So let's say we were coming out of freedom. I have it in song mode right now. We were coming out of freedom and we were... And then I went to make the transition. Yuck! I don't like going straight to that organ sound like that. It's nasty. So, normally when we're ending a song, um, we're, our mod wheel is usually fully engaged because, um, uh, you know, it's a high part of the song, especially a song like Freedom, you know, we're swelling really big at the end. And so um, if we're finishing that, that lead line. So I'm going to decrease the volume on the master to 50%. Hit the button, another in the fire. I'm gonna play the C chord. And come right back up to 
75%. I had my foot on the sustain pedal for much of that, as you can see in the keys illumination section on the video bottom. So it kind of, as long as my foot is on the sustain pedal, the, the sound from the previous sound still holds. Um, so it's a good way to make that transition. So when, when we're in that in-between time of when freedom ended and maybe there's a pastoral moment or something, I didn't want a bright organ sound. So way up here at the top is just our nice kind of subtle patty sound. And that way when the song starts, I'll roll that mod wheel back down into a position where I can play the organ. And I'll just, I'll put it almost fully open or fully to the bottom of the mod wheel, but because it's the beginning of the song, I won't quite go there. Chords are really easy in the song, nothing really tricky to play, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and start the track. Of course, it'd help if I would start at the beginning. One, two, intro, two, three, four. Give that first Verse note. one. Super simple chords. Just chorus.
low part. Every time she says break down. Turning off the rotary. Ending. I'll often fade back up at the end with that mod wheel so that it's easier to transition one to the pad of the next song so that string patch just has a lot to do with being able to transition into next songs that way if I have to make a key change now say to the key of G before I go to the next song That's why we don't try to avoid those kinds of transitions um, where it just comes in with something really powerful. So I always got to think about that, plan for that. In fact, one of the main things I would do when I showed up to get ready for a practice is practice your transitions. Like go listen to how can I do this? How can I make a transition from one song into the other? Be thinking about that too. Um, when you take the Nord home to practice, if you want to check it out for a week, um, just be thinking about how can I make those transitions sound really tasty um, instead of really abrupt. All right. Um, see you on the next video.